So I don't know how old this mower is now. I think it's uh, seven years old. And people often ask me, wow, your mower looks really, really good. So I just wanted to share a couple of tips with you guys. Obviously, blowing it off and getting all the crap that sits up here in the deck. That's what I'm talking about. All that grass gets stuck behind the mulch plug. Now this is all dry, but if it's wet, that's going to be a problem. So either way. If you're cutting wet grass and you have wet grass stuck underneath, you definitely want to get that off. Um, I don't typically have wet grass stuck under the underside of my mower. But what I do is, when I put a brand new blade on once a year, see this edge here? This is, this is obviously the edge where whatever kind of cover you have uh, mulch plug or whatever sits and this is where all the wet grass and leaves and whatever else gets stuck and so it's wet debris held against the metal and it's going to cause corrosion so when I do my annual blade change I go ahead and just feather that edge down with my angle grinder hit it with a quick coat of fast drying primer and then hit it with a couple of coats of just black spray paint and it seems to be working. We have on a seven year old mower almost no corrosion, just a little bit of surface there. So, anyway, we're going to do that real quick. And then the other thing I do is I'm sure my neighbors think I'm insane, but I actually give this a wash. I take my car wash bucket and just give it a good wash over, wipe it all down, and that's kept it looking pretty darn good. Also, notice the tires. That's the next video I'm working on, is replacing these two worn front tires. So look for that video coming soon too. Feather that out, knocked off the surface rust, hit it with some primer, coat of paint, and we're good.
And that's what I use, self-etching primer. Stops rust. And then use the high performance enamel, 15 minute drive time. So just give it a squirt of both of those. Ah, moved the blade and then sprayed it anyway. Not trying to win any paint finishing awards. Remember the goal is we're preventing rust on a lawnmower. So according to the can, it says touch dry in 10 minutes. So I'm going to go get some coffee and I'll be right back. Okay. So in the Florida heat and humidity, it sure doesn't take long. So, get rid of those now. Time to hit it with the top coat. Don't know why I worry about that blade. See over the years, maybe you can't in this light, but there's a sticker here that's been painted over several times. Again, the goal is just to stop rust. I'm not trying to win any paint body finishing awards, so I'm going to let that dry and have another cup of coffee and uh, put it back together again. I imagine that some of you are screaming but mower decks rust from the inside out so painting the outside isn't going to do anything and that is true if you leave wads of wet grass but up under mine let me come out and show you up under here it's pretty clear industry or rust free should I say a little bit of wear there, but in my instance, the only place that I've experienced pitting and rusting is right on the edge of that. And then also, if you were to leave piles of debris up here um, that's wet, it can rust through that way too. So, I mean, obviously, if yours has got rust up under the deck, then you're going to have to do something different. I'm in Florida and uh, this is what I do once a year to maintain my mower. 
Okay. Yeah, got to wait a couple more minutes. Okay, that'll do it. Cover back on. No, oh, come on. And the jack. And we're done. So, now I've got to get out there and mow that grass. Pete Diamond, Jacksonville, Florida. Thanks for watching.